What's up everyone, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel, in today's video I'll talk about the 3 3 3 win streak Tiger Stag Team Match event, the event for the celebration of the Wrestling Masked Banner. Well, this event is pretty different, it has only 6 stages divided by 4 different difficulties and the enemies are aligning differently in at least 2 sets of stages, like stage number 1 and stage number 4 have enemies aligned in a row, so you can use row attacks. And then stage number 2 and stage number 5 have enemies aligned diversely, and then stage number 6 has enemy aligned in a column. Uh, and you can bring column attacks. But I don't think we still have that many characters with row or column attacks, but if you have Soji, he's going to work well. One thing, stages one, two, and three has lower HP cap, so for farming, they are not good. So focus on stage four, five, and six. There's also another thing that I have to say. Stage four and six actually work pretty much the same that the three enemies have around the same HP. We have Rocky, we have Bag and Candy. They do have some different weaknesses, but at least the blunt part is the same. If you use blunt attacks, you kill them all together. But now, stage number 5 is different, because here we have plenty of enemies, and they have lower HP than Candy. So, you have to do more damage against Candy. It may be easier to farm stage 4 or 6, with the difference that stage 6 is actually a boss stage. You see the animation of warning and it just reduces the speed of the farming. So I prefer to farm stage 4 in that case. Another thing we need to talk is that this event has something that we drop that you can see here on rewards. Time it drops for dailies like uh, the Testaments of Might, some orb medals and gold pieces. Besides, you will also be able to craft a new weapon based on Pink Tiger. We'll go to forging to check. Here, let's go, and you'll be able to craft this weapon that has a guaranteed Saga Frontier 1 bonus on slot number 1, a female guaranteed bonus on slot number 2, and different bonuses on slot number 3. You can craft a weapon for Pink Tiger if you summon for her, or for Liza. Liza will also benefit since the bonus on number 1 and 2 benefits her kit. Whereas the number 3, if you get Saga Frontier 1, will work for both on max potential. Or female or power will also be fine. Well, there's one more thing to talk. Each of the stages will drop a different thing. In the case of stage 1 and 4, you can get the red mask, stage 2 and 5, a white mask, stage 3 and 6, a blue mask. And this matters for a community event that will happen. If the whole community gets 6 million red mask, we'll be able to get this many rewards. The top one is 1000 gems. Uh, for the white mask, these are the rewards, on the top also 1000 gems. The same for the blue mask, 1000 gems and a lot of other things, especially Amplified Badges, those are the best rewards. And if we get all of it together as a community, we'll be able to get 1,000 more, so for a total of 4,000. Nice, because Halloween is coming, many banners, we need gems to summon. Okay, and now let's just get a look on the shop, we have some very nice equipment here, Promotion Scrolls. Now let's get to check the shop. We have uh, Promotion Scrolls, it's been a while. You can also get pink gloves, forget about it, you can craft better. But the pink costume is pretty nice, because it gives agility, it's made for martial artists. And then we have the pink Lucha Libre mask. This one is nice because it is for martial artists and gives more blunt resistance, so nice for some challenges. Then plenty of other things that we usually get. I don't see gold pieces here, so you have to rely on the community event. But now let's talk about the strategies. The squads I use for stage 4 will also work on stage 6, because the enemies are the same. Now, going for the first strategy, and the best one is lead by Arthur. Yeah, bring Rainbow Rangers formation, place him on the STR position, and he's going to use infinite trajectory and follow up with, well, Talon. And then you have to bring someone in the agility position. He can be... Human, Female, Perfector, Alkaiser, 
Copelia, anyone that has a very powerful AoE blunt attack. Human Femi is pretty strong, that's why I'm bringing her here. And you can bring three trainees and nothing will break this cycle. Just for reference, my weapon with Arthur has 82% increase, and the weapon that I am using with Human Female has, as you can see, 90%. Yeah, this weapon is pretty strong. Well, Arthur is extremely strong. Fitting trajectory is not even strong as all the three enemies, but then Talon helps a lot. Wild Overrun is going to do plenty of damage. You don't need that much, but 80,000. The next strategy for stage 4 and 6, you can bring Hurricane with two old farmers. That is Rook with Nutcracker on 14 and Rofus in the back, just as he is. I'm using the Remembrance Gun, it's not that you need, but it helps. Uh, the only problem is that Rofus has a turn order decrease by being on this slot. So some of the characters in the mid row may attack, but you can bring people that still need some rank ups and they will just level up here and there. The formation had to be this one, I tried Rainbow Rangers and other ones, but then sometimes Rofus will go first before Rook, and that will break the cycle. At least Rook will always kill one enemy before they can try to attack you, but then, see, this is what happens. Some of your characters may attack before Rofus goes and finishes, decreasing the speed of the farming. But it may not be that bad if you are leveling up, right? The third strategy is pretty funny because we are bringing Lian together with the first version of Fuse. Yeah, I don't know how many people have this, probably only veterans, but you can use Proton Rocket and he follows up with Submachine Gun because of his passive and it will help with damage. And then we have Lian here on the top, he's using the Remembrance Gun, yeah, for those that have uh, this weapon as well. And you can open with Ricochet Parade. Those two will be able to finish this all. It doesn't matter who one goes first, but usually it's Leon. He has higher status. Ricochet Parade with the Remembrance Gun do so much damage. Now, Fuse back in the game. <laughs> Very nice. Now we move to stage number five, and here there are different strategies. The first one I'm show has Arthur in a Magia fight formation, but he's on the back since he's a fast attacker. And then on the front line you can bring a Nuker. It does not need to be Leon, it can be any blunt attacker that has strong damage like, well, Pink Tiger, like any martial arts user. It will be used to kill the remaining enemy. And then you can bring three trainees. This one is good because no one attacks besides those two units. Okay, the... There's plenty of enemies, but they have much less HP, because Arthur will kill them. And now there's only the enemy in the back, that is Candy, and Leon does not even to use the follow-up, he just straight up Q. Now the next strategy is pretty similar to what we did in the past. Two martial artists in the scattered formation. And I'm bringing Alkaiser with Punishing Combo Inherited. If you don't have this Alkaiser, you can just bring Red, Global X Red with Punishing Combo. Should be enough if your weapon is strong enough. And then there is Copelia, and Copelia is using Artema so in her Global X style. If you don't have, maybe Punishing Combo will still be enough, but I'm not entirely sure. You may need to add a third character. But this one brings three characters in the back row, and they won't attack, so it's also pretty fast. Another character that you can use here is Human Leonid, he also has a follow-up attack and also will help dealing damage after the small enemies are dead. See? The animation is actually pretty pretty fast. But this was the last strategy guys, thank you so much for watching this video, please subscribe if you haven't, and if you want to support the channel, there are links in the description of the video, I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye.